The next area of the job setup that we're going to look at is the work breakdown structure. The work breakdown structure is used to define the tasks for the job and determines where your costs will be tracked. Let's click on the work breakdown structure link in the ribbon of the job card. From here, um, you can click add in the ribbon of the job work breakdown structure to add a new task. You'll notice you can modify the job WBS code or the description here. So I will create a task for my requirements gathering and then tab to the next field. Next are the visible on timesheet and visible on expense and requisition fields. Now these fields determine whether the task should, will be available for selection in web time and expense entry. Um, now they work together with this membership field. This membership field is used to assign the employees to the task. So with the combination of um, the employee being on the membership, within the membership team um, selection and the, so these boxes selected, then they should have the task available to them in time and expense. The next field are the approval fields. Now these fields um, determine who approves the timesheets and expense reports that are submitted by the employees. So I'm gonna select the blue team here um, for the approval hierarchy that we have already set up for our blue team. Um, you'll also notice that when I select something for the time approval hierarchy, it does default for expense and requisitions. However, this can be modified if it is different. And the next fields um, are our approval start with fields. The purpose of these fields is to define the first approver in the chain of approvals. Uh, usually this will be your task manager. And these will default as well, but they can be modified if needed. Next, I'll click on modification detail in the ribbon of the job work breakdown structure. This is where you'll be entering the contract and funding amounts for the job. You'll notice that the job WBS code is autom automatically populated. I'll just have to enter a description for my funding starting date. Then my contract and funded amounts and I had a $50 funded fee on this. So once that's complete, I'm going to click OK, and that'll bring me back to my job work breakdown structure. From here, I'm gonna to wanna to view my task card, so I'll click on task detail here in the ribbon, and this will open up my task card. You'll see that the task card has the same setup fields as the job card. The values in these fields were defaulted from the job card but they can be changed here. When generating an invoice or calculating revenue recognition, the values on the task card will be used. 